What's up, Mushroom Fam? Thanks for purchasing one of our liquid cultures. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to use our liquid cultures properly and some quick tips that I have. So when you receive your liquid culture, the first thing you want to do is to inspect it for any leaks or damages. Um, if, you, if there are some leaks, just shoot me a quick message on Etsy and um, I can get you a replacement. But we do ship these out in these uh, nice little bags and it comes with a sterile needle and a 10 mil syringe. So um, I'll just give this one a quick inspection and You'll notice the mycelium will tend to clump up towards the edge of the needle or where the needle will go and I recommend shaking up the culture pretty rigorously especially if you're going to do multiple injections if you're going to be using it all in one it's not as important but it is good to have a homogeneous liquid culture and one of the questions we get a lot is if um, there's not a lot of mycelium, will it still work? And the answer is yes. Um, all of our cultures are quality controlled on Petri dish so that we ensure it's viable and it's sterile. Um, so some mycelium, especially for um, like a lion's mane, can tend to be pretty sparse but it just takes one viable cell to grow out a green culture. Okay, so now that this culture is mixed up, um, I will show you how to inject it into a two and a half pound spawn bag. So my recommendation for one 10 mil syringe is you can get away with uh, three or four half pint jars if you're gonna be doing your grain spawn in jars, or else I would recommend doing the 10 mil in a full two and a half pound um, grain bag. And I like to use injection ports that are self-healing so that when you inject the culture, it will close that um, point of contact and then it will mitigate any contamination. Normally I will do this in front of the flow hood However, you can also do this in a still air box, or if you clean up a bathroom or a kitchen area, you just want to make sure that the area is very clean because um, this needle is sterile and the culture is sterile inside. So we're trying to minimize competition when we're making our grain spawn. So make sure that your grain spawn is cool to the touch. And I'll go ahead and open up my needle and with using one hand and avoid touching the lure lock portion, um, I can remove the sheath from the needle here. And then I like to inject my needle kind of pointing downward so that as I inject my culture, I will be able to watch the growth develop. Okay, so then I'll pull my needle out and carefully cap that remove the needle, and if you have any leftover liquid in there, then you can proceed to inoculate subsequent jars, but I recommend just using this and placing it in a sharps container or discarding this um, safely. So another tip that some of our customers will do is they'll remove this label here, and that way you've got yourself a nice label for your grain bag. Um, that's just a quick time saver. So now that the culture is injected, um, it takes about one to two weeks for the bag to fully colonize. Now, after about four or five days, you should be observing some growth. The, the mycelium will start to turn white or in the case of, case of this beach mushroom, it will be a slightly tan color and this one is almost fully colonized and then once you reach full colonization you should have a nice thick mycelium layer now this should be used to inoculate bulk substrate and then you can fruit out of your bulk substrate some people will inject 
these into an all-in-one grow kit, which is completely fine. Um, however, we find that it's better to start off with grain spawn and use this as a, a quality control step to make sure that your spawn is healthy. All of our liquid cultures are made using 100% organic honey and mycelium. And once again, we quality control all of our liquid cultures to ensure the sterility. So another option you can do is you can use the liquid cultures that we provide to inoculate a new liquid culture. And then that way you will be able to scale up your spawn production. All right, guys. Thanks again for your business, and I hope you enjoy the Fresh Fungi Genetics. Check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi. We're constantly loading new strains and updating our inventory. We have a frequently asked questions on our Etsy shop, so go check out the FAQ page. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me, and until next time, much love.